this is my solenoid. You can see the dimensions of the solenoid on the screen. The number of turns is 1000 and the length of the solenoid is half a meter. The inductance of the solenoid can be calculated by the well-known formula. And the inductance of my solenoid is 7.106 millihenny. This formula does not take into account the side effects that occur at the beginning and the ending of the solenoid. Let's simulate this case in quick field. And this is my problem. The problem type is magnetostatics. The model class is axisymmetric. This means that there is an axis of rotation, a horizontal one, and in the model on the upper half of the device is presented. Now this is my solenoid. It consists of the winding There are 1,000 turns in the winding and one ampere in the conductor. The core, there is no core in my solenoid, it is just the air, the permeability of one. There is an air outside and the far away from the solenoid the field fades to zero and I said zero magnetic potential there. Yeah. First let's simulate the ideal solenoid. I switch off the air, I exclude the air from the calculation. Let's take a look at the result. You can see the few lines in the solenoid. They are straight lines, there are no side effects. I will switch on the color map. You can see that the flux density distribution inside the solenoid is uniform. Let's calculate the inductance. I build the contour here to calculate the flux. The magnetic flux value is 7.106 microbebers. I should multiply this value by the square number of turns and divide this value by the current 1000 ampere. So the inductance would be 7.106 millihenny. Let's compare with the theoretical result. It's a perfect match again because it's ideal solenoid. Let's simulate the real solenoid. I switch on the air 
and solve the problem again. Now you can see the field lines of the real solenoid. There is an external field Let's switch on the color map. The inductance is uniform only in the center part of the solenoid. There is a side effects. Now let's calculate the inductance. But to calculate the inductance, I should build the contour. Where should I build this contour? In the central part? Or here at the side of the solenoid? Which is correct? The answer is none is correct. The correct way is to calculate the flux linkage with the winding. I select the winding, calculate the flux linkage, multiply this value by the square number of terms and divide it by the total current value, 1000 ampere. And the inductance would be 7.48 millihenry. This is the inductance of the real solenoid with the external field and side effects. And the inductance calculated by the theoretical for the ideal solenoid is not the one that the inductance for the real solenoid. Now let's move to the next example.